What is up everybody? It is Josh from over at Reddit Viper coming at you today with a recap video of the recent RCS scrimmage that we did. Um, we had uh, I think 10 Reddit clans that all came together to RCS clans and uh, pulled, pulled together players and came up with a a 40 on 40 uh, scrimmage war so we had two clans reddit egg reddit chicken the goal was to find out the age-old question who came first and uh, we figured it out in this war uh, the eggs the eggheads won out um, so I was lucky enough to be a part of the winning squad and uh, so so yeah it was, it was a blast um, lots of people I talked to said it was a super fun war got lots of great feedback um, just want to shout out the, the clans that participated, um, Reddit, the original Reddit clan, uh, Reddit Echo, Reddit Eclipse, ho uh, Reddit Hotel, Reddit Pirates, Reddit Oopsalon, Reddit Viper, Reddit Warriors, Reddit Zen, and Reddit Zulu. So awesome job uh, getting so many great players out. Um, it was a killer war. We had some great attacks. You see the final score there was 114-111. Uh, Chicken, they came back at the end and, and made a game of it. We, we had a decent lead for a bit, um, but they came back, fought back, and uh, you know made us, made us sweat it out a little bit. We had to come through with some good attacks at the end. Um, so we're going to watch some attacks. Uh, before we get to the attacks, though, a couple things I want to point out. Um, over at Viper, we, we do something we call our six star assassins. Every, every war, we recognize our guys that pulled out six stars. So just want to run through those names here. Start out over on the chicken side. They actually had one more uh, six star assassin than we did on egg. They had, uh, they had nine, I think. Um, so first one here, Math Bandit, uh, Town Hall 8 from uh, Reddit Zulu. The rainbow guy, or that rainbow guy, is a, a Town Hall 8 from Reddit, the original Reddit clan. Um, who else we got here? Throck is uh, a Town Hall 8.5 from over at Echo. He cleared a, a couple of 8.5s, I believe. Um, where are we at here? Mac. Mac is one of our Reddit Viper guys. He uh, he took out, took care of business there. Uh, looks like Max. Both of them were first uh, first hit. Matt and Throck, both of them first hit six stars. Um, so good job, guys. Um, Absinthe Insane. He's a uh, guy from uh, Reddit Upsilon. Um, got a few of those guys on this list. Uh, he, I'm going to point him out for two things. Uh, one, being a six-star assassin, and then also his defense. Um, we had to hit his base seven times before we finally got him. Also, Wraith uh, had, had a good defense as well before we finally got him. Um, so good job to Abs uh, Abyss. Insane. Uh, had a great war, man. Uh, Kerbatron, I'm gonna point him out. Not not a six star assassin. He uh, he missed it by three percent. So good war, Curb. Curb's one of our Viper guys as well. Um, what are we at here? Dylan, another Viper guy with a six star war. Good war, Dylan. We're gonna watch his attack on Duke. Um, AJ the Great. AJ is a beast. Um, both his attacks, six star or three stars, first first hit attacks. So good job, AJ. In my opinion. Um, probably the MVP of the chicken side. Uh, just two two beast attacks there. Um, Petro is from oh sorry AJ is from Reddit Viper as well. Petro um, is one of their Town Hall tens from Hotel Reddit Hotel. Great War Petro got uh, the two three stars there. And uh, C Dub is from over at Zulu. So coming through a couple of their Town Hall tens coming through with the with the six star wars. Um, over on our side of the the aisle. We had uh, quite a few as well. We had Mystique from Reddit um, with six stars. Uh, Abby, one of our Viper members, he had a six star war. Great job, uh, Abby Rahul. Um, Matt's man down here, number 30. He, he is a 8.5, but he took on a couple of Town Hall 9s, so great job, Matt's man. Also, he was one of the, one of the leaders in the clan. Um, the bumpers was oh yeah I got to point out bumpers so he had the six star war and he also was our was our defensive uh, standout with look at this eight eight attacks on his base before they finally got him so great job bumpers um, you were you were a stud uh, who else we got here um, I squeaked out six stars both cleanup attacks so. Not as good as some of these guys that did first strike attacks, but uh, Mark, another one of our Viper guys with six stars, good war Mark. 
Spirit had a great war. He um, hit AJ the Great. Uh, they, those guys went back and forth, cleared each other's bases. Both first hit three stars. We're actually going to watch both those attacks. And then he also got fat. He can't run. So great war, Spirit. Um, Spirit is from Upsilon. So another Upsilon guy there. Um, no has had a good war, but needed that extra percentage in the first attack. And then uh, Katie. Katie is our fearless leader. Um, Got to give props to her for the six stars, but also for being the, um, you know, the, there were a lot of leaders that, that worked to make this happen, but uh, Katie really put in the extra effort. She was the one that made sure we got matched. And um, so just great job, Katie. We, we appreciate all the, all the work you put into this. And then uh, last but not least, got to point out Griffin, um, our number one. We will watch this attack on Nubs um, or Nub Cakes. Uh, he 100%ed he him with the killer mass bowler attack. And then 99% on, uh, on Jersey Diablo. So the, the dreaded 199% war, but uh, great, great war, Griffin. Um, we, uh, we needed those stars, and you came through for us, man. All right, so let's get to, to some attacks here. Um, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna watch three of their attacks and then six of ours because the, the winning squad, you know, the, the winner gets the spoils, as they say. Um, first attack we're gonna watch is, I, I tried to mix up the attacks, um, get some different strategies going, um, you know, not show the uh, same go bajo over and over again. So there's a, sh should be a little bit of mix uh, here. Uh, first attack is Dylan going against Duke Fall. So these are two Viper guys. Um, sorry, I realized after I looked at which attacks I was going to pick, I picked a lot of Viper guys, and that wasn't intentional. I'm not trying to be an advertisement for Viper. Uh, all the clans that were in this were great, um, but it just happened those were the the attacks that showed some different styles and stuff. So, um, but we get other other guys on there as well, guys and gals. So uh, Dylan hitting Duke went with um, the the uh, Gola Loon uh, max attack, pretty you know straightforward max attack. Um, which it, we don't see as much anymore. I mean, we still see it, but see a lot of uh, a lot of Gova Ho and, and stuff. But uh, I still love seeing a good air attack. So he is going to just draw this one out here. He's going to EQ this this center area here. Um, opens up this whole section and um, watch the value he gets with his kill squad. He takes out this expo, or I'm sorry, this air defense, this air defense, this air defense, three air defense three archer towers um the archer queen and this expo and the cc so i mean it takes out a huge chunk of the base with his kill squad i'll let it run here um get it gets this big portion of the base he comes in sorry i didn't start it here he comes in from uh the side over here with his golems after he drops his eq and uh just you know standard funnel with some wizards and then his heroes come in um, he does a good job of waiting on his king you know you, you never want to get your king ahead of your golems and you you know have your king end up being the one doing the tanking and go down quick um, especially he's got a long way to go to make it all the way over to this archer queen so he uh, he wants to keep that that king up so does a great job of waiting making sure that his golems are the ones doing the tanking and uh, you know just got a few wizards in there um, you know level 20 queen so not you know it's not like he's a max or anything but he does a great job of, of getting those golems out front to do the tanking <coughs> sorry about that um, they had a mini dragon in the CC which we see a lot of um, he's gonna he's gonna pop his king here because he wants to make sure that he gets over to get hit that queen um, so does a great job just great timing um, you see the golem still tanking, his queen is still full health at this point in the raid. And uh, now, sorry, let me drag this over. He uh, starts his Laloon. The one mistake he made is he dropped his, he dropped his uh, um, level 2 hound instead of his max hound first. And so his level 2 pops and his max actually doesn't, he had a max in the CC, doesn't pop the whole raid. Which... You know it's fine. I mean, if you if you go the whole raid and have a hound unpopped, you probably are doing a good job. Look at his queen; it's still just going down now. Um, but it would he would have got better value if his max hound popped and he got the uh, 
the the uh, pups from that max hound instead of that level two. So, you know, that I mean, that's nitpicking. He he crushed his base. So, great great attack, Dylan. Uh, just speed up through the cleanup here. Really, uh, you know, I mean, smoke that base. He should have swagged that that haste spell. I don't know why he saved that. But uh, yeah, great great job. Got bragging rights on Duke for for a while there, Dylan. Um, all right, next up on the list, we are going to look at AJ. Mentioned AJ before, um, one of the one of the beasts in this clan as well as in Viper. Um, his second hit was, uh, like I said, it was a hit on Spirit. Um, this was also a first attack hit. It was a revenge because Spirit had already hit AJ at this point. But uh, so revenge by AJ. He's gonna come in with a queen walk, um, bring his queen over here with four healers couple of whiz and a couple of minions over here to create a funnel to make sure his queen goes the right way he wants his queen coming in here to take out the enemy archer queen and then tracking down this way to meet up with his with his uh, main attack force so I'll let it run here because um, this queen walk does take a little bit of time um, AJ I mean he has great improvisation but he he does a great job of planning his attacks out um, you know, I'm sure he had a backup plan in case his queen didn't walk the right way, but he, you know, he did everything to make sure she went where he wanted her to go, and, um, you know, the, his attacks typically go the way that he draws them up, so, um, great job planning and great job executing on this one, AJ. Um, one thing he does point out right here, he's gonna drop his poison on his, on the archer queen over here, and what that does is it allows him to save both his queen's ability and this uh this rage spell um which a lot of times you know if, if you meet up with a big archer queen level 30 or you know 25 and up you're gonna have to either pop your queen's ability or use a use a rage um he's able to save both of those by poisoning the queen and slowing her attack down because there's only one cannon focused on him in a mortar so Great job. Um, it's something AJ has. Uh, I've seen him do many times, and I never remember to do it. So he's got that down, and, and it works every time. So great job there, AJ. So now he's got his his kill squad going in. Um, one golem just tanking that expo, and then uh, and then he's got you know a, a bunch of Valks. He, he the one mistake he makes on this is he waits on his king. Um, I'm sure it's not intentional. I'm, I'm sure it just, was just a, a slip up. It doesn't matter. The the attack wrecks the base, but you'll see his king come in down here way late. Um, he starts his hogs. This is a first attack, remember, so he doesn't know where bombs, you know, giant bombs are. Doesn't know where Teslas are. Um, but yeah, th so there he dropped his king finally. But he ends up going around the base and basically being a tr cleanup troop. Um, so it's a pretty thirty level twenty. Three King is a pretty beastly cleanup troop, but it works. Um, he gets it done with the Valks. Valks are just so strong in the game right now. There, he finally drops that rage. His hogs hit a hit a uh, bomb, but he's got those healers there. That was a little fortuitous. I don't. Yeah, I'm sure that part wasn't planned. But uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, the base is is basically wrecked. Um, he's got you know plenty of Valks still alive. Three hogs still out there doing damage on defenses. Full queen, full king. So. I mean, at this point, the base is done for. Um, so we'll just run it through this. So great attack, AJ. Um, again, first first hit, no scout. Good, good job, man. AJ is a beast. We we're, we we are glad to have him over at over at Viper on our team. Um, all right, last one here on their side is uh, where are we at here? Sorry about that. I lost track of what I was doing. Um, there, oh, sorry, Mo, how can I forget Mo? All right, so Mo is another, this is, uh, again, I didn't plan this out, this is another Viper on Viper attack, and uh, Mo, so Nohez is going to have to change the base up after this, but since Mo maxed him, I'm sure he would be anyway. Um, so Mo Freezy, one of our, uh, one of our Max Town Hall 9s over at Viper is taking on No Hesitation, who's also a Max Town Hall 9. And uh, so a little max on max action here. Mo is a is an air specialist. Uh, he comes in with a max attack on this one. I'm just gonna let it run and then I'll kind of draw it as I go. Um, so you see, you know, earthquakes down here. He actually he's got to go through two wall sections because this is still, you know, he's got the exterior wall. 
here, but then he's got these interior walls as well that didn't, I think he, ex oh no, it did open up there, I take that back. Um, so, you know, Mo placing the the uh, earthquake perfect where it opens up everything he needs to. Um, again, you know, does it perfect, getting the golems in there in front, uh, make sure they're the ones that are tanking. Um, he's going to get, again, great value. He gets three air defense, he gets the CC, he gets the queen, um, and he already got the, got the one expo. So, again, you know, he's got two hounds, 12, 12 balloons, couple, only a couple of haste because he, you know, used all his spells on the kill squad. Um, but you'll see he, I mean, he barely even needs the haste. He does it right, you know, with the the first hound being the max one that goes in there. So he gets the extra benefit from those pups. So they start cleaning up right away. That's the way to do it. And, uh, yeah, from there, you know, just his, his loons go down, um, drops that haste. He does have some, you know, some air up here that, uh, he's not going to get cleared out or not have a hound tanking for initially so those first couple balloons go down but he's still got so many balloons left um mo really you know again he he plans his air attacks out well and we it, when he was hitting this we didn't expect him to fail you know we we expected that he was going to get it so uh yeah i mean that's last defense down and it's just all clean up from here uh, we are seeing corner huts in most of these bases. That's recommended these days. With uh, you know, with back down to three minutes, we we did see some you know 97, 99 percent attacks because of uh, corner huts. So great job, Mo Freezy, you the man, taking out no heads. So he got some bragging rights there. All right, over to our side. Like I said, winners get the spoils. So we're gonna show a few more of our attacks. Um, there are some pretty pretty cool ones. First one up, I'm going to show one of mine, uh, you know, I'd like to highlight everybody else, but I, I was proud of this attack, so, you know, um, had started with a, a queen walk, um, queen coming in here, my whole goal with the queen walk was to take out the enemy queen, it, if, you know, the, if she got that, it didn't matter if she went this way or this way afterwards, um, but she had to get the queen in order for it to be successful. Um, so I, I dropped my queen, I dropped a giant and two whiz, I, I needed to take this gold storage out, otherwise she was going to track over this way and never go in and get that queen. And then, um, and then a couple of wall breakers to blow this open here. So you'll see, it, it ended up not working out perfect. Um, uh, the queen goes too, way too far over this way, and uh, you know I was a little worried about that. <coughs> Um, because I didn't think she was going to come back inside. So, tried to, uh, I dropped a wizard. Uh, one th I did drop a couple of archers over on these builder huts. Um, just again, the time can be an issue. So, um, dropped a wizard here. A little too late, actually. So, she already starts tracking that way. You'll see by the time the wizard goes down. And uh, I thought, at that point, I thought I was going to have to do some improvising because she wasn't going in there to get that queen. But uh, she does end up coming through and doesn't uh, doesn't go all the way around and track, which I'm not really sure. Uh, I guess that uh, that camp was out of out of range, so she goes over to get this gold storage here. Um, at this point, I do go ahead and start my kill squad up top, which is, I guess it's not the kill squad, it's the main attacking force. Um, it's a golem, just a few wizards to, to funnel. Um, I dropped that rage down on the queen because I knew she was going to engage the enemy queen soon and I wanted to save her ability. Um, so I just popped that rage, get my Valks down up top. And uh, no wall breakers needed with Valks, you know, they, they rip through a wall as long as you've got a good funnel. Um, was able to place the jump well where they got access to this entire section here um, and then the hogs I dropped down here I did not know there was a giant bomb right here so they end up getting wiped out um, you know immediately after I drop them they take out one archer tower and then they're gone which uh, is fine I, I, it ended up working out I knew that there was a there was a hound in the clan castle so that 
played heavily into my planning in the attack um, because I knew they would just track around with the uh, with the Valks and um, my queen could just keep working and and not get stuck. You know the the worst thing about a clan castle hound is that it'll slow up your your archer queen so much and she won't get as as much done. Um, so knowing that that the hound would follow the Valks around um, it worked out. My queen, you'll see my queen does latch onto the hound, but he takes off after the falcons and she ends up getting stuck there on the wall. Oh, the queens are so dumb sometimes how so she's sitting there on that wall, but anyway, that was uh, that was my, my three star for the war, well one of them. Alright, next up we're going to look at Spirit on AJ. So this was the first attack. Uh, Spirit is from I'm, uh, Upsilon, um, so he had a great war. He was one of our six star guys. Um, he comes in with a uh, Gova Gova Low, um, and I'm trying to remember here. Sorry, I watched a, a lot of replays here. He, um, I'll just run it. He's gonna come in from this side with his. Sorry, that out. Come in from this side with his kill squad. Um, just blow this wall open here and then uh, jump his drop his jump right here so he's gonna take out this expo uh, that air defense oh I'm sorry he's got, he does the double jump so jump there jump there and he basically takes out that's right he takes out this whole section here so all he has left after the, his kill squad is done is this outer core or outer ring of defenses which this is you know the only thing that's gonna significantly damage his balloons you see they're all all of the archer towers wizard towers they're all spread out enough where they're not gonna you know do significant damage to his his balloons um, so yeah I mean just gets great coverage great you know his Valks wreck the right part of the base where his he can drop two balloons on each of these air targeted defenses and clear them out his valks come through and get this um this last air defense before it, you know takes on a couple of balloons or i don't even think it gets one balloon um his queen is still up she's banging away on a wall but at this point all the defenses are down and there's no no damage to be done he swags a couple of poisons here and uh that's it good good game to aj's base aj's uh in the process of building a new base right now so great attack spirit um, one of one of two solid attacks by him so great war man all right next up we got oh yeah this was a good one uh, everyone went went buck wild on this one so you see all the way down here 31 dread pirate and his hit on Dirk Diggler so what this was, we had cleared all of the all of the Town Hall 8s and all of the 8.5s, and so our 8s and 8.5s were just running scout attacks, you know, just going in with Valk heavy armies, trying to get two stars and find, you know, find out as much info on the base as they can. Um, so what he does is he just comes in with a couple of golems, you know, CC golem and, uh, you know, one level 2 golem. 16 Valks, uh, he does have level 4 Valks, a bunch of wizards, and a level 10 um, king and a level 8 queen on this max Town Hall 9 base. So Dirk is max, uh, his king is level 29, so you know, about as close to max as you can get. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna let it run here. He pretty straightforward just drops a couple golems, some wizards to funnel, and then sends his Valks in. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's as straightforward an attack as you can get. He, he you know, has decent, decent placement on his earthquakes. The only thing is, I would have actually dropped them here so that he could, because, uh, let's see, two, four, yeah, he's got plenty of room to drop them there and open up to this expo, um, which, I mean, th that's nitpicking. He, he, he wrecks the pace, so... Um, it, it, th this attack right here shows the power of Valks in the game right now. Um, you know, that uh, a level 10, level 8 heroes can come in on a max Town Hall 9 with just a bunch of Valks and a couple of Golems <coughs> and some Wizards and just wreck, wreck a base like this, wreck a max Town Hall 9. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure Dirk wasn't happy about it because, you know, they... 
it's it's a you know by nature it's a spammy attack but that doesn't mean it's you know doesn't mean it doesn't still take some skill so um knowing the right entry point knowing where to drop your eq and whatnot so um it was awesome we over on the egg side we were we were stoked when uh when this one went through the, the chat was going wild so great job dread um dread pirate one of uh one of katie's uh katie's players over there at reddit pirate um, so we were we were super happy for you. I mean, he he didn't he didn't even need to drop this last heal. He could have totally swagged it because he's got so many Valks left, and his queen still has half her power, but um, or half half her health. So does go ahead and drop that heal. Um, yeah, good good game, Dirk. So time for a new base, man. All right, next one up is we got two more to to look at we've got to show digital exile so i didn't he wasn't a six star assassin because you see two two stars here but he's a town hall 10 with i'll show you his, his uh profile here town hall 10 31 35 heroes you know not not a max guy and uh he two stars two of their town hall 11s this was super critical for the war um they the strategy of being able to have Town Hall 10s jump up in two-star Town Hall 11s so that Town Hall 11s then can uh, bully on the Town Hall 10s, it, it was really important. I, actually, I won't, not trying to rip on Chicken too much, but Digital had as many stars on Town Hall 11s as any of their Town Hall 11s did, so, or as their Town Hall 11s did together. So, um, just great war, man. I mean, that's all there is to it. All right, let it run here. He uh, comes in with a queen walk. His queen walks down this way. And, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I wanted to point this out. So right now what you see is minions dropping. You'll see he ends up with, I think, 59%. And watch the percentage over here. Um, watch the percentage over here when his minions get done clearing out these, these trash buildings. I think it's at, like, 11 or 12%. So <clears throat> if he... If he didn't plan this out and you know drop those minions and clear out those trash buildings, it he wouldn't have got this attack. You know he wouldn't have got the second star. He would have got the town hall no matter what. But um, th that stuff, yeah, thirteen percent he got from those minions. That's stuff that whether you're a town hall eight jumping up and doing a scout attack on a town hall nine or you know a town hall ten jumping up and trying to trying to do a two star attack on a town hall eleven. That's the kind of stuff that you gotta do. You gotta, <clears throat> you gotta drop minions, archers on any exterior trash buildings. You know, you're you're giving up minimal troop space to get valuable percentage that comes into play. So, great job there. Also, it's even on a town hall eleven. It, it is even more strategy involved because you have to count out the number of troops that you can drop before the eagle artillery is gonna start going off on them. So, um, just I mean, great job, Dig. You. Uh, this was this was key in the war for us. So he, you know, he um, rage, rage and heal over here on this kill squad, and then he does have the one freeze that gets the eagle and this um, and this uh, inferno tower. But uh, at this point, he's already over 50%. We know uh, we felt bad. This is another another uh, viper on viper attack here. Matt is one of our town hall 11 viper guys. So. Felt bad for Matt, but uh, in this in this war, everything's fair. So we were we were stoked for Dig getting this one, and then he also got the two on their their number three as well. So great war, Digital. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't think he gets anything else with these archers here. Make sure here. Yep, fifty nine percent. He ends it at. So great job, Digital Exile. All right, and then the last one. Everyone again was was going crazy in the chat on this one. Um, I pointed out before Griff's 199% war. Griffin um, from over at uh, sorry, what, Griffin's at Zulu, uh, Reddit Zulu. So he comes in. Um, if if you you know keep up on the on the kind of war strategy game, you know bowlers are, are where it's at right now. So Griff got his, his bowlers right before the war, or during the war actually, I think he uh, he got his max bowlers uh, completed. So 
came through just in time and uh, I mean it's a pretty straightforward attack he you know makes a funnel here and just sends in a mass of bowlers he's got healers um, backing him up and obviously his heroes and just a double jump I think a jump here and here and uh, you know a couple of rage a heal in there and I mean the bowlers just wreck this base it's it's a it's a fun attack to watch you know when you're the, the whole clan was watching. I don't know. I don't know how many spectators there were, but there were a lot for this one. Um, so again, use some minions to clear out some some trash buildings to make sure that everything gets funneled the right way. Um, you know, he wants to make sure everything goes in at that top corner there, that north corner. And uh, okay, there's there's his first jump. Is you know that I mean that's the little stuff that experienced players do. You know, you can. I mean that's not a super difficult jump, but it's still it's got to be placed perfect to, in order to get access all the way into this inner by the eagle artillery there. So a um, few bowlers, he drops to go around the outside and and just make sure that the funnel is is good, and uh, then everything inside. He rages everything. He you know drops his heal I think pretty quick here, um, but you see he's got some healers in there that uh they they split perfectly that really he did his uh warden ability there um his healer splitting really did help uh because they his bowlers go off in kind of two packs and uh you know it's it, having having two sets of healers healing each of those packs it it worked out well so but you'll see at i mean the end of this attack his his king does get killed but um is that uh, his king's already down yeah uh, but his his queen and his warden have full health, and uh, I think he's got I don't know four bowlers left at the end. So his bowlers, most of them go down. But uh, I mean, there's there's not any doubt at the end of this attack that he's gonna he's gonna wreck this base. So super strong, powerful attack right now in the game. I wouldn't be surprised at all if bowlers get nerfed before too long, because um, I mean this attack. When you can when you can take a pretty much max town hall 11 <clears throat> and just wreck it like this um, that's a that's a strong attack so <coughs> sorry about the coffin I've been talking for 30 minutes now so um, yeah I mean that's basically it. again he's got full health on both his warden and his queen there's no doubt at this point that the base is going down and uh you know the expo and a couple of archer towers and some trash so that is uh that is about it she's just got to break through this wall and then it's good game um yeah i mean overall really great war exciting war uh we had a ton of fun over on the egg side i can't say for a chicken but i'm sure guys had a good time over there as well and uh yeah we we hope to do again thanks again to to katie and everybody else that that made it happen and everybody that participated um you know if you don't know what rcs is go check it out go check out the different clans and come come join one of them it's we got some some cool peeps and some uh some great war strategies going on so all right that's it for this one catch you guys later